These animals have 10 eyes, blue blood, and have lived on Earth for more than 400 million years. I'm Dino Grandoni, and I'm a climate and science reporter at the Washington Post. I was recently on the coast of Delaware Bay in New Jersey, where I've been reporting on horseshoe crabs. I've been talking to scientists who are monitoring not just the crabs themselves, but the eggs they've been laying and the birds that are feasting on those eggs. Increasingly, this ecosystem has been in trouble, and that's because of us. For years, We've been harvesting the blue blood from these crabs to help test vaccines and other medical devices for contamination. It's a crucial step to making sure our medicines are safe, but all that bleeding has been depleting not just the crabs, but the birds that are depending on them. Some drug makers have turned to a synthetic to replace the compound that we've been taking from the horseshoe crabs. Big question now is, will enough drug makers make a switch to help alleviate the pressure on these crabs and on this ecosystem?